Hello YouTube, I'm Tim and welcome to my DVD and Blu-ray update for July and August of 2021. This time I've got DVDs and Blu-rays I bought via Amazon Prime, Severn Films, and Shout Factory, as well as Kino Lorber. So first up from Amazon Prime, I bought the Blu-ray of God Told Me To, put out by Blue Underground. This is a drive-in movie directed by the late, great Larry Cohen. And this was released through New World Pictures back in 1976, when it was owned by Roger Corman. Yeah, I'll read what's on the back. A rooftop sniper guns down 14 pedestrians on the streets of New York City. A mild-mannered dad takes a shotgun and blows away his wife and children. A cop on a sudden shooting spree at a St. Patrick's Day parade. And each of these unlikely killers makes the same dying confession. God told me to. Now, a, rep a repressed Catholic NYPD detective, Tony Lo Bianco, of the Honeymoon Killers and the French Connection, must uncover another world of deranged faith, alien insemin insemination, and his own unholy connection to a homicidal messiah with, with a perverse plan for the soul of mankind. Written, produced, and directed by Larry Cohen, Q the Winged Serpent. This cr critically acclaimed cult classic remains one of the most disturbing, thought-provoking horror films of our time. Deborah Raffin, Death Wish 3, Sandy Dennis, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, and Sylvia Sidney Beetlejuice. Mike Kellen, Sleepaway Camp, and Richard Lynch, Bad Dreams, and Andy Kaufman, Taxi, co-star in this one-of-a-kind chiller now featuring a brand new 4K high definition transfer from the original uncensored negative along with, with exclusive new extras created especially for this release. Now the back of this case looks like it's it's been like squashed in. And this movie's from 1976, color 90 minutes, 1080p HD resolution, widescreen 1.85, and it's a 50 gigabyte dual layer Blu-ray, all regions, audio, it's an English 7.1. Yeah, 7.1 DTS HD as well as English 5.1 Dolby Digital Surround X and English DTS HD Mono. And then English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing and French language subtitles and Spanish subtitles. And the movie's not listed as being rated, but when this was first released to theaters, it was rated R. I believe the DVD release was R. Extras include audio commentary with writer, producer, director Larry Cohen, Heaven and Hell on Earth, interview with star Tony Lo Bianco, and then Bloody Good Times interview with special effects artist Steve Neal, and God Told Me to Bone, New <laughs> Beverly, Q 
Q&A with Larry Cohen and Lincoln Center Q&A with Larry Cohen and then theatrical trailers, TV spots, and a poster and still gallery. Extras not rated or subtitled presented in high definition and 480i standard definition. So Blue Underground, Blu-ray of God Told Me To. And also recently, Amazon Prime, I bought the Arrow Blu-ray of Cruising starring Al Pacino. Yeah, this is about a movie about a New York cop going undercover as a gay man to find a serial killer that's killing gay men in New York. And this one's rated R. And it looks like it's got plenty of extras, but I don't want to spend time just reading everything on the case. So this cult movie classic, Cruising, starring Al Pacino, directed by William Friedkin, who also directed did The Exorcist and The French Connection. Oh, and this also stars Karen Allen, who was in Raiders of the Lost Ark. So cruising, Arrow, Blu-ray. And then another Arrow Blu-ray I bought on Amazon Prime. This cult movie by Jack Hill, Switchblade Sisters. And this one's got English subtitles, but the film's not rated, but I think it, it was R rated when it was first released, but it's it's pretty tame. There's violence and a little bit of sex, but yeah, it's pretty tame compared to day to to today's R-rated movies. This one, this Blu-ray is full of extras. I have a few different DVDs, all of which I think maybe had the trailer at the most as an extra, but this has got some extras. Carried over from, I believe, the VHS tape release. And then I think this might have, yeah, this might have Yeah, I think some of this is from a, a, was from a film screening, some of the extras. Jack Hill and Joanne Nail at the Grindhouse Film Festival 2007 archival interview with the director and actor. And then interview with Jack Hill, Robbie Lee, and Joanne Nail. An archival 1990s interview with the director and stars in conversation with Johnny Legend. And this is the newly commissioned artwork, which is listed on the back as being reversible with the original artwork. You know, this new artwork is commissioned artwork by the Twins of Evil. So, 
another Arrow Blu-ray, Jack Hill's Switchblade Sisters, and Eye Patch Girl that is Monica Gale, who did a bunch of softcore adult movies in the 70s, and then she did some R-rated, and I think maybe one or two PG-rated movies, and she did a little bit of TV towards the end of her career. So, this is another one I got. I bought off of Amazon Prime. And then, an MGM Scorpion Blu-ray. One of the, another one Scorpion did with Kino Lorber. It's a beach party film. It's never been out on DVD or Blu-ray until now. For Those Who Think Young, stars James Deren from Gidget and Pamela Tiffin and then Paul Lind. And we get Nancy Sinatra's in it and Tina Louise and Bob Denver from Gilligan's Island are in it. But at this time, he would... He was known for the many loves of Dobie Gill, so I think this this was probably right when he was getting cast in Gilligan's Island, and Tina Louise was not cast yet as Ginger. And I believe what's her name is in this movie as well. Ellen Burstyn, who is the mom in the original Exorcist movie, is also in this, but with blonde hair as opposed to a redhead. And there's no extras listed. I'm assuming there's probably trailers on here. It's in 2.35 anamorphic widescreen region A locked, English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, and not rated. Need to get new glasses. Yeah, it came out 1964, 97 minutes color. So, for those who think young. Kino Scorpion Blu-ray licensed from MGM. I also bought off of Amazon Prime recently, and then a couple I bought via Severin Films website. One, it's a movie that had a DVD release, which I heard the DVD wasn't that good quality, but it was shown in widescreen on Turner Classic Movies, and I heard, I think the copy they showed on there was a little bit better than the DVD, but this is when, I think Severin got some movies from MGM, and I think this might be one they got from MGM. Warriors of the Year 2072. It's a Lucio Fulci Italian sci fi futuristic movie. And it also includes a, a CD soundtrack of the, the mo movies, all the mu music from the movie. Well, maybe not all the music, but all the important music from the movie. Yeah, BNS about movies said, I effin' love this movie. Fulci takes his own spin on what comes after the end of the world. It's basically rollerball with Fulci's penchant for blood. And this is dubbed in English. It looks like this just has the English audio track. 
but I'm assuming this was one that was shot probably in English. It's Fred Williamson's African American, and then Jared Martin, so a white American actor, and then don't know about Al Cliver and Donald O'Brien because it listed as being a couple of movies that were Italian horror or Italian B movies, not necessarily horror. But this is full of extras. We get Fulci tapes, conversations between Lucio Fulci and Michelle Rama, Ram Magnoli, and then unloved interview with screenwriter Dardano Sacchetti, and then the nicest villain interview with actor Howard Ross, the good hearted gladiator interview with actor Al Cliver, my father. The Hero interview with Antonella Fulci. And Photographing the Future interview with cinematographer Giuseppe Pinori. And then four times Lucio interview with actress Sin Zia Monarelle. And then audio commentary with Dolby Digital's Nathaniel Thompson and Troy Howarth, author of Splintered Visions, Lucio Fulci and his films, and then you get the trailer and then the bonus disc CD soundtrack. Yeah. Color 95 minutes from 1983, region A locked, English mono, 10. 80p full HD resolution 1.85 widescreen but no rating but it, this has been scanned in 4k from an IP print for the first time in America so I don't know if this got a theatrical release here it was shown on Turner Classic Movies Or if it's one of those Italian English dubbed B movies that just went straight to home video in the US. So, Warriors of the Year 2072 from Severin. And then another one from Seven Severin. It's an Italian futuristic movie, Endgame, directed by Joe Da Amato. In limited edition, 2,000 units only, and it has a bonus soundtrack CD music composed by Carlo Maria Cordio. Special features after the bomb interview with actor Luigi Montefiori, or as we call him here in the U.S., George Eastman. And then you get the trailer, and then the bonus disc of the CD soundtrack. I believe this was put out on DVD and probably VHS by <sighs> Trauma. But I don't think this was ever put, I don't think it was ever in theaters. But this one you get both English mono and Italian mono audio, and then it says closed captioning. And then 1080p full HD resolution 1.85 widescreen. And post apocalypse.co.uk calls the film essential film during the peak of the Italian post-apocalypse love affair with a solid gold lineup of stars. The first ever authorized American Blu-ray release plus bonus soundtrack CD. 
for his own entry in the 80s Italian post-nuke cycle, Joe Da Amato combines a, a prescient script, ferocious action, an unprecedented cast of Italo cult icons to create one of the better spaghetti sci-fi films of the decade, rivets on the poster, an irradiation-ravaged future, an underground society of mutant rebels will attempt to overthrow the tyrannical government by infiltrating the TV sport in which humans are hunted as prey. Al Cliver's zombie, Laura Gempser, Black Emmanuel, and George Eastman, Anthropophagus, and Gabriele Tinti, Caligula 2, and Bobby Rhodes, Demons, and, Pep and Peplum legend Gordon Mitchell, the giant of Metropolis, star in, in this tons of fun for lovers of Italian exploitation, rubber monster fetishism, featuring a pounding score by Carlo Maria Cordio. Shocking Dark, now scanned in 2K from the original negative. Almost non-stop action with Joe Da Amato directing You Can't Go Wrong forces a geek. So Endgame. It's another Italian futuristic movie that I bought from Severin. Then two, Roger Corman cult classics, Blu-rays, their limited edition and double features that I bought directly from Shout Factory. First is the Blu-ray upgrade of Cloris Leachman and Crazy Mama paired with the lady in red starring TV's Nancy Drew from Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries. Pamela Sue Martin, and then Robert Conrad, who I believe was in TV's, let's see if they list, yeah, it just says Robert Conrad, but I think he was in TV's Wild Wild West. This also stars Louise Fletcher, is in The Lady in Red. She was in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and then Christopher Lloyd, Back to the Future, is also in this. Yeah, the movie's about Polly Franklin. She was, was the last girlfriend of 1930s gangster John Dillinger, and she was wearing a red dress, which... Set him, set her boyfriend out to be shot. Movies from 1979, 93 minutes, and it's rated R. And includes audio commentary with director Lou Louis Teague and actor Robert Forster, who I believe he died a year or two ago. Then you got audio commentary with producer Julie Corman, Roger Corman's wife, and screenwriter John Sales, and then theatrical trailers. And I believe, yeah, both movies are, re are region A locked Blu ray and subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Crazy Mama. It's from 1975 and runs 81 minutes and is rated PG, but it's a 70s PG, so some content not for kids. Yeah, Academy Award winner Cloris Leachman stars in Crazy Mama as Melba Stol Stokes. She runs a California beauty parlor with her mother. Sh Sheba, played by Ann Southern, and teenage daughter Cheryl Linda Pearl. 
and the shop gets repossessed so that they, they go on a road trip which turns into a crime spree and they go from California to the family home in Arkansas also stars Danny Most from TV's Happy Days, Jim Backus from TV's Gilligan's Island, and he was also in the movie Rebel Without a Cause. And then you get Stuart Whitman, The Longest Day, and this Crazy Mama was directed by Academy Award winner Jonathan Demme, The Silence of the Lambs. Let's see. Looks like Lady in Red was directed by Louis T. Eag. But these are both Roger Corman productions. The Lady in Red is also known as Gun Sin and Bathtub Gin. And I'm hoping that they fix the Blu-ray because it was missing some of the extras for Crazy Mama that were on the DVD. Yeah, Crazy Mama is supposed to have audio commentary with director Jonathan Demme and producer Roger Corman. I think that it's been on the Blu-ray and the DVD. And then interview with Jonathan Demme and Roger Corman I think got left off the Blu-ray, and then there's supposed to be the trailer and TV spots, which I heard also got left off the Blu-ray, but they should be. Hopefully they put them on here. If not, they're on the DVD. And another Roger Corman Blu-ray upgrade I got from Shout Factory, limited edition Big Bad double feature, the Big Bad Mama and Big Bad Mama 2, both starring Angie Dickinson. Both movies are R. And Robbie Lee from Switchblade Sisters is also in Big Bad Mama. So I don't I don't want to spend too much time on this one. Shout put Big Bad Mama on a manufactured Blu-ray a while back, but they didn't include any extras. But both of these movies were out on DVD from Shout with a bunch of extras, but now they're out on a limited edition Blu-ray. All the d extras from the DVD carried over. So we're close to 29 minutes, so I'm going to move along. And then one more Roger Corman cult classics Blu-ray steelbook I bought, I believe, from Amazon Prime is Battle Beyond the Stars, and this includes a new 2K scan of the inner positive, and then I believe all the rest of the extras are carried over from the past DVD and Blu-ray release. It's rated PG, Region A locked, English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. It's from 1980,
and it's 104 minutes long. So if Blu-ray Steelbook Battle Beyond the Stars from Shout Factory, but it's one I bought off of Amazon Prime. And a couple DVDs I bought via Amazon Prime. Kino Lorber release of the film noir murder mystery was shown on American Movie Classics a number of years ago, and then that somebody taped that off there and put it on YouTube, but then YouTube pulled it, but now Kino has licensed the film from Universal Pictures. The Web, starring Edmund O'Brien, Ella Raines, William Bendix, and Vincent Price. And this has a couple special features. Audio commentary by professor and film scholar Jason A. Ney. And then theatrical trailer. It's from 1947, not rated. Black and white, 87 minutes. And it's 1.37 full frame since... This was before widescreen movies reaching when locked. Subtitle was in English. So Michael Gordon, the acclaimed director of An Act of Murder in The Lady Gambles, in Woman in Hiding, in Pillow Talk, in Portrait in Black, in Texas, Across the River, comes a stylish film noir starring Ella Raines, Phantom Lady and the Suspect, and Edmund O'Brien, The Hitchhiker, and DOA, and William Bendix, Lifeboat, and Wake Island. And Vincent Price, Tales of Terror, and the House of Seven Gables. Leopold Kroner, formerly of Colby Enterprises. This is, is released after, after five years in prison for embezzlement. Andrew Colby Price, claiming that Kroner threat has threatened him, hires lawyer Bob Reagan O'Brien, yeah, played by Edmund O'Brien, as a secret bodyguard. Surely enough, Kroner turns up in Colby's room with a gun, and, Ra and Reagan kills him. Then Reagan, who sticks around to romance Colby's secretary, Noel, played by Reigns, begins to suspect he's being used. Director Gordon and superb cast spin a web of deception, seduction, and murder in this first-rate crime drama. So this was direct, let's see, written by William Bowers, based on a story by Harry Kernitz, directed by William Go or not William Gordon, Michael Gordon. Stars Vincent Price, so one of his non-horror classic Hollywood roles. The Web, licensed Kino Lorber from Universal Pictures, which is part of NBC now. So it's one I got from Amazon Prime. And also from Amazon Prime, I got the DVD edition for those who think young. I have a bootleg of this somewhere, but I decided, well, I'll get both the DVD and the Blu-ray since I clicked both formats. And, like, the Blu-ray doesn't list any extras, just that it's subtitled in English. But I'm assuming there's some trailers on here. 1964 Beach Party film originally put out through United Artists, which is now part of MGM. So, for those who think young.
and then I tried to buy the Blu-ray of the web from Amazon Prime, but it went out of stock, and it doesn't look like they were going to get a Blu-ray of it anytime soon, so I bought the Blu-ray edition directly from Kino Lorber, and it just has the same extras as the DVD, just audio commentary in the trailer. And then it's in full frame, since it's from 1947, no widescreen back then. I believe. Looks like the cover art's different. Here's the DVD edition, and there's the Blu ray. So I don't know if maybe the artwork reverses to this for the Blu ray or not. DVD and the Blu ray. The web. And I'm almost done. I've got a Blu ray I just ordered from Dark Force Entertainment. So that probably take a few days to a week. Who knows if we have another lockdown? Might take a little bit longer, but first from Amazon Prime, I bought the Warner Archive Blu-ray of the complete animated series of Herculoids. And I had this on DVD, so just had to get an HD up upgrade. And three discs of all 18 episodes of the 1960s action fantasy cartoon. And as a special feature, it has the Herculoids, the first family of planet Quasar. And then... cartoon that does a little bit of crossover with the Herculoids for one episode, and then in the 80s on Space Stars, there was a lot of crossovers with the Herculoids and Space Ghost. But this is mainly Space Ghost alternating with another cartoon called the Dino called Dino Boy. Plate series and this includes feature length profile, simplicity, the life and art of Alex Toth, and the universe's enforcer and the prehistoric wonder rocket onto Blu ray, showcasing the episodes and the three segment form as they originally aired. The stellar retro hits soar through space and time to deliver justice. First intergalactic policeman, Space Ghost, navigates the cosmos in his tricked out spaceship, the Phantom Cruiser battling villains like Brack and Zorak in his legendary suit and powerful wristbands. Then Dino Boy teams up with Caveman Ugg and Dinosaur Bronte to go primeval in the ancient menaces of their primitive home, and finally Space Ghost flies again with m more extraterrestrial adventures and thrilling takedowns. The Dynamite compilation also features the dynamic six-part Space Ghost episode, The Council Doom, It's Cosmic Entertainment for All. So to Warner Archive, Blu-ray, classic cartoon releases. I didn't have this on DVD before, but I had the Warner Archive DVD. This one had to get an HD upgrade. So, 
So I'm hoping now these are on Blu-ray that Space Stars will get a Blu-ray upgrade as well. So the Herculoids and Space Ghost and Dino Boy complete series on Blu-ray from Warner Archive that I bought off of Amazon Prime recently. And then was today I got same day delivery from Amazon Prime and a few Blu-rays. First is another cult horror movie from Severin. It's a Joe Da Amato Italian film, something like Jaws called Deep Blood. It's from 1990, 91 minutes, and I think this just went straight to video here in the States, but I think this would probably be an R-rated film if it were to get a rating. It's region A, B, and C, and closed captioned in English, but it looks like it's Italian and English mono 2.0. Why don't I read a little bit on the back? In a career that forever raised the bar for everything from hookers, cannibals, and necrophiles to Ator and Emmanuel, Emmanuel and Caligula, this long unseen chum bucket from producer, director, and Eurosleaze master Joe Da Amato may be his most bizarrely entertaining anomaly ever shot on location in Florida surf and Rome swimming pools. Joe Da Amato combines 80s teen movie cliches and Native American mysticism with stupefying dialogue and over-the-top performances and shark footage that Bruno Mattei would later swipe Eep for cruel jaw is to create what oh the horror calls a weird and demented and experience that begs to be discovered and embraced. A cast of local unknowns along with inexplicably the sixties comedy team of Charlie Brill and Mitzi McCall star in the last word an Italian shark exploitation now scanned in 2K from the original negative for the first time ever. If you thought Joe Da Amato didn't have a Jaws ripoff in him, then you don't know Joe Da Amato being a yeah being B and S about movies. Now oh, the horror says this film has such sights to show you. It may be the most jaw-dropping, what the F were they thinking, Italian killer shark movie of them all. Special features just include the trailer. And I believe this is just in full frame because it was just shot in full frame. So I think this was just something that Joe De Amato had home video in mind at the time it's released. And parts of this were were edited into the Jaws ripoff, Italian ripoff, Cruel Jaws. So deep lead I bought Seven release I bought via Amazon Prime. And a Something Weird Kino Lorber Blu-ray collaboration that I bought on Amazon Prime. It's part of the Kino Classics Forbidden Fruit Golden Age of Exploitation Picture Series of Blu-rays. Volume 8 contains the greatest movie hoax 
Motion Picture Banned, U.S. Federal Trade Commission, 1933, Ngagi Gorilla. The exploitation cinema had its share of scandalous films, but none is so mixed in controversy as the bizarre pseudo-documentary Ngagi, purporting to be an an ethnographic journey into the wilds of Africa, Ngagi combines authentic footage purloined from other films with the outrageous scenes staged for the camera in Los Angeles in Los Angeles long the hoaxes per perpetrated are the discovery of Tor 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 Tad Tad Leo or Tad Eo a heretofore unknown species of animal and the exposure of an indigenous cult worships and sacrifices its women to gorillas a particularly racist concept that would resurface in films for years, most notably as the dramatic springboard for King Kong, after spawning a whole subgenre of exotic shock documentaries. Got a bug on my glasses. E.g., Forbidden Adventure and Karamoja, the originator faded into obscurity, mirrored with lawsuits and cursed by its no variety of its title, the Kinyar Wanda word for gorilla. Ingagi has not been commercially distributed for at least 50 years, and this 4K restoration from materials preserved by the Library of Congress marks the film's home video premiere. And warning, Ingagi contain contains authentic hunting footage. Viewer discretion is advised. U.S. 1930 color tinted 82 minutes. It's 1080p HD, 1.33 full screen, not rated. Extras for special features, audio commentary by film historian Kelly Robinson, audio commentary by series curator Brett Wood, and then about the restoration, so something on the restoration of this movie, and then a trailer gallery and optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Special thanks to David Pierce for providing invaluable research materials, regions A, B, and C. So Kino Classics, Kino Lorber, Blu-ray release. And it's from Library of Congress, but it's also listed as something weird video release, so I don't know if something weird put this out once on VHS or not. So, Ingagi, not to be confused with Son of Ingagi, which was a horror sci-fi movie about an African-American woman that was a mad scientist that created a black ape man. So Ingagi means gorilla. Bought from Amazon Prime. Now one movie. It's a classic Alfred Hitchcock film. Seems that like Turner Classic Movies really promotes this movie to death on their channel and on their site. Alfred Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest stars Cary Grant, Eva Marie Saint, and James Mason. I've never seen this before, but Blu-ray contains a dazzling restoration for original Vista Vision elements. Special features commentary by screenwriter Ernest Lehman, a 2009 documentary 
reveals the master's touch, Hitchcock's signature style, and explore in depth the movie's innovations and influences in North by North, North West, one for the ages, and then vintage 2000 documentary Destination Hitchcock, the making of North by Northwest, and then a still gallery and theatrical trailers and TV spot. So I'm thinking maybe that vintage 2000 documentary, maybe that's something, maybe that's something from when American movie classics was still showing these Hitchcock type movies. And main features in 1080p high definition, 16 by 9, 1.85 widescreen, Dolby True HD, in English 5.1 audio, Dolby Digital, English 5.1, and then French 1.0, and Spanish 1.0 audio, and then subtitles in English for the deaf and hard of hearing, and then French and Spanish subtitles, and special features may not be in high definition, and audio and subtitles may vary. 136 minutes, not rated, bonus tra material, trailer, not rated. It's copyrighted. 1959 and I want to say this is in color it's, I thought I saw a clip of that scene in, on Turner Classic Movies and it was in color so yeah I, I think this is one of this is one of the ones Hitchcock did that was in color. Not seeing anything on the back saying whether it's region A locked, but I assume since it's Warner Brothers, it's region A locked. So Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest starring Cary Grant. It's another Blu-ray bought recently from Amazon Prime. It's a little after 53 minutes, so this is a long one. So let me recap everything that I bought from Amazon Prime. I bought the blue underground Blu-ray God told me to, and then the Arrow Blu-ray of Al Pacino in Cruising. William Friedkin film, cult movie classic, from the early 80s. And then also another Arrow release I bought off Amazon Prime, it's Jack Hill cult movie. I believe this is from the mid-70s Switchblade Sisters. And Steelbook of Roger Corman cult classic Battle Beyond the Stars I also bought from Amazon Prime. And then Beach Party film put out by Kino and Scorpion releasing from MGM for those who think young the Blu-ray. And I bought the DVD edition as well. And then two Blu-ray, oh, let's see, yeah, two Blu-rays I bought directly from 
Severin, Warriors of the Year 2072, directed by Lucio Fulci, and Endgame, directed by Joe Da Amato. And then from Shout Factory, two limited edition Roger Corman double features. Now Roger Cloris Leachman and Crazy Mama paired with The Lady in Red starring Pamela Sue Martin, Robert Conrad, and Louise Fletcher. And then the Big Bad double feature of Big Bad Mama and Big Bad Mama 2, both starring Angie Dickinson. And then from Amazon Prime Warner Archive collection Blu-ray releases of the Herculoids, the complete series, 60s cartoon, and another 60s cartoon series from Warner Archive that I bought Amazon Prime and Blu-ray, Space Ghost, and Dino Boy. And these are both the complete ser two different complete series. Okay. And then also from Amazon Prime, I brought I bought the Kino Lorber DVD of the web starring Vincent Price. And then I had I wanted a Blu-ray, so I had to order it directly from Kino, since Amazon wasn't getting the Blu-ray in. As you can see, the DVD cover artwork and the Blu-ray cover artwork are not the same. There's a difference. but the back cover of the DVD is just exactly the same as what's on the back of the Blu-ray. And you get the same extras on both, aside from an HD upgrade on the Blu-ray. And then today I got same day delivery Amazon Prime, I bought Severn Blu-ray, Joe D'Amato's Deep Blood, it's an Italian Jaws rip-off movie, and then the Kino, Something Weird Blu-ray, the 30s exploitation movie, Ingagi, Gorilla, and last but not least, the Warner Brothers Blu-ray of Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest. So that's all I had to show off this time. I've got one more Blu-ray coming. Well, it's already August now, since it's after midnight here. So I've got a Blu-ray coming from... Whatchamacallit? What's he called? Dark Force Entertainment. And then I've also been collecting Star Wars toys again, so there is two Tanti Eve 4 play sets or diorama sets put together into one long hallway, and you can see. big alien queen action figure trying to get through two rebels firing at it and then the stormtroopers that got in and are attacking them and i've got a couple more that i i took i had connected onto the side but i took them off they'll be going into my bedroom eventually but i i want to include something on 
the Tanti 4 diorama sets in a separate video, so maybe I'll do a video on those when I get Blu-ray from Dark Force, since I just have one more Blu-ray coming. So I'm Tim, and thanks for watching my Blu-ray update. And it's time to turn off.